Welcome back to the stream, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and we're hanging out in West Hill on the Citadel server here. Uh, and uh, we're going to pick up where we left off. We were working on some details just beyond this pumpkin farm. We were working on the main road details, main path. That's a creeper. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have mood lighting, sometimes not so much. Maybe I can get these skeletons to shoot him. Oh no, he's just going to hang back there. We're just going to get rid of him the old-fashioned way. Fly over here and fly back. We'll be fancy about it. So we were working on this path right here, just at the end of the last stream. And we also, during the last stream, added this custom tree along the road here. And I'm really happy with this. I think this looks great. So one thing we can do to kick things off today is I think just finish off this little patch. So I find that when you have these big areas, it's nice to kind of divide them up. So we've got this path that goes down to the marsh and then we've got this kind of green strip here. And I think I'm just going to come in here with some bushes and some, some foliage and just kind of make it look overgrown and we'll go from there. I think it's going to be a pretty straightforward start. So that's what we're going to start with today. Delara, hello. Obu, CJ, Blast. Good to see everybody. Janoy, Crosshatch, good to see you. Hope you're all having a good Thursday so far. I do have boxes to put down. This is stone and stone bricks. I wanted these specifically for this little spot here. Add some crack bricks in here. Maybe we won't do two. Maybe that will be don't no. have any tough. I think we'll get some tough. Fully ejection. Yeah, we're going to be working on that. I just wanted to fix a few things here while I thought about it. Inventory is still full of greenery and whatnot, so be good. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Not quite sure what to do down this way, so we'll start going the other direction. So what am I going to need here? We're not going to need the stone. I might keep the tough. Keep the gravel. Mossy, that should probably be something we keep. Take more of that. Definitely going to need more moss. Don't need a chicken egg. Uh, don't need trapdoors. Keep the logs, though. Getting low on carpets. And we'll need probably a little bit of everything from here. Delia, I'm going to want Acacia. Stone. 
So, seeing this bush here and thinking that we could probably extend it a little bit, have like a little drop here. And bring that down to there. And then maybe expand it down here too. Sort of like what we have going on over here. It would be probably pretty cool if we could work in a little bit of a little extra rocks here and there. I want to go overboard on using the bushes on the corners. Thanks for the lurk, CJ. Good to see you. Hmm. Let's go there instead. Oops, that's the wrong thing. A little bit of a different color. So, not really going to see that from the road. I'm not too worried about it. We might be able to see it from over here. Nope. So really what I should be concerned about is this area here. You can see that from the bridge. Maybe we'll toss in extra grass here and there. This is always so slow going, but ultimately worth it in the end. I think we might be able to work in some carpet along here too. Get some height going on. Yeah. See, like this, I think could even be made into a um, a bush. Oh, I don't have my bucket on me. I don't have to forget that. Now, where do you actually get some water? Because so much of it is filled with grass. I think that works. I'm curious about putting something there. Yeah, I'll go with that. Hmm. 
Mm, maybe not there. Thanks, Rugan. Good to see you. Thanks for that link earlier, by the way. It's probably better the other way. Yeah. So it's not a lot of work, but I think when you start to add in those details, like see, it looks like it's kind of full up to about there now. It doesn't take that long. I find too, it often helps to have some sort of direction of the pattern. Oops. So I try to make it flow this way as opposed to that way. I feel like it works out better. Get your base color in and then start working in things a little bit more. I I think I told myself I wasn't going to fall victim to doing custom grass everywhere, but I feel like I've sort of fall, fallen victim to doing custom grass everywhere. I uh, know bone meal would just be it would put too much everywhere. I do bone meal if I want it to look really thick and overgrown, but I want this to be a little bit more low. I don't want this to be distracting from the marsh. No. I feel like my zoom is slow. Zoom time, one second. That's better. Now, could we fit in something a little bit more along here? I feel like maybe a bush would be good in that area. I usually step back, see what might work. Yeah, about there. Uh, 
it's okay. That's going to be the case. Maybe we'll just switch this. And maybe here we can get away with some taller stuff. Find sometimes if you do patches, works out better. Mind Trip Media, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Yeah, that helps break up this edge a little bit, although it's still pretty straight, isn't it? I need to break this up here. That helps a little bit, I think. Whoops. Yeah, that works. No, maybe not there. Try that, and then we'll do something else down here. Slowly but surely. And let's go with maybe there. The um the azalea saplings really stand out, don't they? Felt like there was a little bit missing through here, so maybe something like that. And then here, from the path, that actually looks pretty good. We'll just connect these textures up a bit.
it. There, there's definitely times when it would be nice as a end game player to be able to control the day night cycle more, you know, create some contraption or have to sacrifice some materials or something to just be like, have it be daytime, not all the time, but longer. I think I do need to try and weasel in some ferns here. Try this one. Maybe there. And weirdly, this kind of stuff is always difficult to talk over. I don't know why. I think that's pretty good. Kind of random. Nothing too crazy. All right, let's take a look. I don't think I want any more up here. I could maybe do a leaf or two berry down here. That could be good. Yeah, far enough away it's not going to pull your eye too much. Looks good from up here, some variety, but it's not distracting from the marsh. Like you're still seeing the blue and the brown and the marsh and that's mostly what you're looking at. And from up here, yeah, maybe one extra bit of grass right here. Cool. Walk away, walk away. <laughs> don't want to be here all day. That part's done. Uh, I don't know how exactly we're going to handle everything up here. Because this is just so much space. But I feel like I can probably come through here and just create a decent pattern. So this at least feels like a finished thought. 
Those right next to the road are a good call too. I don't know. Maybe it should have been better over here. Yeah, that seems to work. Now, one thing I was uh, wanting to do was add some more brown along this road. This helps a little bit. Obviously, the path helps, but I feel like somewhere along here, there should be like a little bit more wear and tear. Almost like this place needs like a rock or something. Not sure. Oh, it's a little distracting, isn't it? Cool. Helps a little bit. Yay, just a thing I need while banging my head on the desk trying to put invoices into the computer at work, says Mosaic Dream. Well, I'm happy I can help with the mundane. I like to think it's a pretty good second monitor stream. I, I've never been somebody that's really like showboaty or or loud or excited on camera or in front of people i mean i i still don't like public speaking which is weird because i podcast all the time but i yeah it's just not one of those things that i'm certainly not excited to do it i will do it i feel like i can probably do it well enough but i'm not champing at the bit to get out there And I much prefer more Q and A style type stuff than than like a formal presentation. Let's switch these up.
Talking to a room full of people isn't the same as talking to a single person in a room. Oh, no, that's fair. But like the here I'm live to what? 20 people? No, 35. Uh, and then Spawn Chunks is live on video. I think that's the main difference between streaming and podcasting and then a formal presentation and and being live on video is the is the being able to be seen. You can always have me on a second monitor mixer gun and just mute me. You have that power. I'm sure a lot of my friends wish they could. Spoiler, I'm a bit of a talker. Which, funny, today on stream, you might not have guessed that, but... Yep. Elkhorn, good to see you. Welcome in. What is that emote? It's like a Twitch confetti cannon or something? That's really cool looking. That softens that up a little bit. along here needs a little bit of help. Maybe just a few more highlights here and there. I feel like these are much better closer to the edge. Yeah, I feel like the, the goal here was to try and have it be a little thicker along here and then gradually make it look like it gets down to there, but it's hard to do in Minecraft. So I don't want to get too much into this area because I just don't know what's happening here. I have no idea how to proceed. Cool. This looks good from both ways.
Feels like a big group of grass there, unfortunately. Maybe I'll have to thin that out. Yeah, that helps. Gives a little bit of depth. So this area still is is open. I don't know exactly what to call this area, but I also don't know what to do with it either. Outside of just hitting it with a couple of random bushes. Not really sure. I feel like this pill feels pretty solid though. Balances that out a little bit better. Okay. That's done. I think maybe we'll refine this path a little bit. I started on it yesterday. Do we like the way that that curves? I think, it, I think the curve is okay. The steps are a little bit strange. I think it's time to maybe adjust the, those bushes and have it be a start, like a smoother start maybe. Question is, do I have all the things? Probably use some more spruce. And we'll stock up on some more bushes. Acacia leaves are getting low. That's interesting. Maybe we'll have to go get some more. Uh, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. If I have any more here. I have an acacia box. I get so turned around in here sometimes. No, we will have to grow a couple. I don't need the wood. I just need the leaves. Do I have any over here? No. I think when I get a few more shulker boxes, I'm just going to start to dedicate full boxes to things. That's right, we can grow these just about anywhere. Actually, there's probably more space over here. Maybe we'll be inspired by happy accident. That's a big acacia tree. I 
I don't think I want any trees there. Like I, the reason I put them over there, because we're just going to harvest them and chop them down. But the reason I put them over there, because I thought we might want to see what trees would look like there. And I don't, I'm not in love with the idea. What I do like is this tree is filling this blank space, but I don't think here is where it needs to go. I think a tree needs to go more in like this area here, like way far away. Uh, nope, we are not on 1.21, still on 1.20.4. I have not been able to figure out which of my mods is crashing, so I have to go through them one at a time. So you add it to the folder, and then you boot up the game and see if it works, and then you just rinse and repeat, but it takes a while because I've got like 20 or so mods that I have to consider. The one downside to playing on a vanilla plus server I haven't even looked at the data packs yet. I have no idea. I'm assuming the tables and chairs is just probably not going to work. What I should do is just learn how to make the tables and chairs data pack myself. And just update it as I see, see fit and need. You've got a lighter, these trees are pretty easy to to handle. I remember when they first came out and I was first working with them, I always thought they were kind of a pain to chop down. And just like that, we're almost back up to full capacity. Nice. Mini blocks are now craftable in the stone cutter on vanilla tweaks. Oh, very cool. So we can get rid of the wandering trader. That's a neat idea. Tables and chairs have new devs associated with it and it's being converted into a mod. Oh, has it? I know that there was a new person that had contacted me, but it's... Sometimes it's really tricky when you, when you're, I find over the years when I've talked to some mod developers and data pack developers, they start talking in a very strange way where they very, they talk very much about we and us and all this stuff. I'm just like, no, I, I'm just curious to see if your mod is going to update. I'm not. It's, it's very presumptuous. They, they speak as if we're friends and going to be working together. And it's like, mm, no, leave the business speak out of this. We're just, we're just trying to see if your mod is going to update, you know? This is where sometimes a block matters.
Yeah, I'm not sure what it is about about mod or data pack authors when they get like that, whether they think it's a business opportunity or whatever, but it's just it's it's an odd odd feeling. Why is that a different color? It's because of the grass that's on it? No. I guess it's just a shadow. That feels pretty natural. Yeah, this is maybe a little bit off. This might just have to come out farther. farther this way. This feels very straight though. Yeah. I guess I could add more here. No, that doesn't work either. Crap. So tricky when you're dealing with such small, or I guess large in increments in change. Yeah, this is just going to get a lot smaller. feels really symmetrical. It's hard to make it look natural. Although that's getting there. Maybe we can put something like a bush here. Yeah, 
helps a little bit. This just feels so formal and feels like stairs. We are working fire from home. <laughs> I'm just interested in parody. Please answer the question. Yeah. I know what you mean. I like the first Avenger Elkhorn. That's a really good movie. First Avenger, Civil War. I like, I like all the Spider-Man movies. I mean, the new ones with, um, not Tobey Maguire. What's his name? Tom Holland. I really, I really like Tom Holland, both as Peter Parker and Spider-Man. I like, I like the level of, um, surprise, I think, in Tom Holland's voice. For Spider-Man. There's a lot of like, okay, so we're doing this now. And I, he's very capable at Spider-Man, but I think he also just has that like, uh, all right, well, I'll go with the flow. That feels pretty good. I've definitely been itching to try and get 1.21 on the server. I'd really like to do some crafter stuff. I don't know about this bush. <clears throat> Maybe that has to be a rock or something. Yeah, that might work. I'll grab a pressure plate or something. better.
Maybe we'll put the bush down here. Don't know if it's going to stay like that, but try to feather it in and out a little bit here and there. Break time. Thanks for the reminder, Dan. Appreciate it. Good timing. Folks, for uh, those of you that are new, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to refresh the coffee, grab a drink. You can grab a snack. You can grab a friend. Let them know that we're streaming. Uh, share it around. It's on social media. It's on Joel Duggan on Instagram in the stories. And it's on uh, Twitter at Joel Duggan. So I'll see you in about five or six minutes.
Right, back to the path. Sorry the break was a little bit longer than anticipated. I uh, had a delivery. I had to go downstairs and grab. I find it really inconsistent between the different uh, places you buy stuff from. I, uh, I feel like if it's an Amazon delivery, they usually ring the bell. But if it's UPS, they will, depending, I guess, on the driver, they will um, just leave it and um, not even attempt to buzz themselves in, like contact me or the super. So they just leave it at the front door, which is open to the public. Like it's it's not a it's not behind the locked door of the building. I'm just like I'm glad I'm home, and I'm glad that I got an email from Gymshark saying that like my stuff has arrived because like otherwise I wouldn't know to go downstairs to get it. That was on Moss. It didn't look like it was on Moss. So here what I'm trying to do is just work on the transitions a little bit going up so they look a little bit smoother. Really wish we had different blocks here, like different heights for things. I'll try that. That might not look the best. Nah, it's a little bit too much. I'm not sold on that stone either. I think I'm going to turn that into some stairs. Might work better. And I'm out of moss. Gappy the guy, hello, hello, welcome in. Let's try some stairs. This might not look good because it's going to be the same height as the slab. But it's better than before. Better than before. That's not bad. Doing well, thanks. Just uh, chilling, working on some of this path detail. trying to get not get too overblown with it but I like what I did here but I don't think I want to start doing that everywhere I'm trying to pick and choose my battles here
should go look at the other path too. I did something similar just up here. It's all stone. So I don't think I'm going to do stone, but in terms of like this stuff around here, it's it's too bad because like it's nice when you can use dirt and and mud, packed mud to throw in around, but then that works because the path isn't dirt. The, if the path is dirt, then we've got other things going on. Yeah, I've always been a builder in Minecraft. I mean, I do both. I, I do redstone stuff too, uh, but but for the most part. That's the artist in me. That's the creative, creative side for sure. feel like it sort of makes the grass look like it's trampled a little bit when you do that. Maybe it's just a me thing. So, and this is really subtle. We were talking about the difference that this little pixel block makes. Little sixteenth of a block. Uh, you um you really feel like you should walk between them so this one sort of steers you a little bit this way and then this one sort of steers your mouse a little bit that way so you end up pointing in the right direction sort of like almost like ping-ponging off of them it's subtle but i think it i feel it Sometimes those are a little bit bright on their own. carpet no maybe we'll do something else there I find sometimes if you can take these patterns in the side and where we normally like I'll go at an angle and line up other blocks I find sometimes if you can do that but then continue the pattern but use a brown block in the path it helps make it look like maybe people didn't stay on the path all the time weird little things like that that I think about that I think help with the details I, I find I need reasons like I need some sort of small story as to why I do what I do Why 
when I see anyone build in Minecraft, I just I sit there confused. It says enhanced wild. Uh, the best you'll get out of me is a cube of planks. Hey, you know it just takes practice. Just takes practice. Use reference. Uh, check out things like ArtStation or my Pinterest page, uh, which is Joel Duggan Art on Pinterest, I think. And um, like that, I think had reference. I think this had reference. I don't often build completely from scratch. I'm usually getting inspired by something. Elkhorn does it very well as uh, too. Uh, if you're in the Discord, then check out the, the stuff that Elkhorn shares. Also, Elkhorn streams from Infinity Cove, my patron server, so you can go follow Elkhorn on Twitch too. You'll see lots of builds. You'll see lots of builds with um, reference and stuff. Now, where's the most recent dirt path that I did? I feel like this is pretty good. Yeah, it's not overblown on the details. It's just like little, little flex here and there. Something I like to do as well is kind of have a flow of, of material. So it looks like this stuff kind of gets pulled and maybe tracked down the path a little bit. Sometimes that's too much. Make stuff look like it's really packed down. On the same side, yeah. I'll put that on the other side, maybe. So with this, I'm just trying to space them out, making sure that there's not too many of the same block close to one another. I feel like I might want to switch some of these. I feel like I can get away with a rock here. Nope. Maybe out here. Yeah, that's not bad. So a lot of experimentation, a little bit of um, trial and error. Sometimes I know what I want to do and it looks good. Sometimes I, I think that's what I want. And then the immediate response is, no, nope, that does not look good. See, like, I'm not crazy about lining those up. So sometimes the solution is just pop it a couple blocks over. And then 
this I feel like we want to move. It's okay when they're really far away, but I think that's actually pretty good. I wish I had more textures in these slabs. I did bring the wood ones, but I don't think that's going to be what I want to use here. No, doesn't look like a path. Maybe turn this into a full on, full on rock. Did I bring more? No, I didn't. Maybe this can be bigger. I feel like it needs to be a slab. Oh, maybe. Nah, maybe not. See, that's a good example of just like, give it a shot, see if it works. I think with a slab, that should be okay. So either both Mossy or one of each? I think that looks okay. Yeah, I think I prefer the regular cobble. Oh, I didn't bring any grass. Too quick to come back. I don't have any grass. We have to go get more. I'm pretty sure that this mod, uh, the shulker box label thing, I'm pretty sure that does not work in 1.21. If they have it on Hermitcraft, I haven't seen it. I don't know if they've updated. I'm assuming they've updated the server, but I'm, I don't think the data pack is updated. What can I put back here? Probably done with these for a while. What I should do is dump off some of this dirt.
dirt and grass what we need sleep here for a second is it just the two folks on infinity cove that are streaming right now elkhorn just you and hunter That's looking pretty good. Not quite there, but getting close. There's so much road texture. That's going to be a slog. I've thought about doing that as like a silent stream some night. Just log in, put on the music that I can't hear, and just go. Let's just It's better. Such a weird adjustment to come down here. It's so dark. Now, easy place to get grass. I want to say I was harvesting grass from over here. Uh, yeah, looks pretty empty. <laughs> so to keep it high in these shears. Might as well get double for the money. Uh, turning your streaming regularly, probably need to add them to the command. I need to update yours as well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if Turing is uh, streaming, by all means. That's great. I didn't realize there was more people. Very cool. Not only are there more than I thought, but there are. Um, I didn't. I, di I didn't know that Turing was streaming. So that's. It's cool that someone new has joined in. Do you guys do a lot of co-streams? Not you two specifically, but just in general. Do you find that? Is it mostly solo stuff on Infinity Cove? Again, for people wondering, Infinity Cove is my patron server, so. Uh, I pay for the hosting on the server, and then folks that join my Patreon at the right level get access to um, Infinity Co. and get to play with, I want to say there's, what, 20 members, if not 25 members, Elkhorn? Not everybody streams, obviously. That's close enough. Such an odd mountain. One of those builds that looks okay from the front, but not from the back. I'm about half replenished. It's not bad. Polsky, hello, welcome in. Elkhorn says, we have not co-streamed as much lately, but my Sunday stream is more often than not. I decide to do server projects, so there tend to be a bunch of chat on camera. Okay. We'll make guest appearances in each other's streams. That's cool. 
time zones yeah that's the other problem of course with so many people being in the uk and then other people being in the us and i think some people being on like west coast or, or mid us the white list is 20 ish but there's eight to ten active yeah yeah some people just support at the level and then just don't have time to actually play or whatever which is cool i appreciate the support on patreon either way I mean, I want people to join in and have fun, but if they don't have time, then it's too bad. But hey, you can only do so much. I find it challenging when you end up cutting the path in half with the textures. I feel like I have to kind of nudge them off to the side. So this is where we'd want to go back and get some other stone blocks so that we can make this look um, like some of the, the path has been broken down on the edge. Man, I am misclicking all over the place today. Yeah, so I feel like some of these should be, should probably change that out to something else. I don't have the right blocks with me. Maybe pull a gravel in there somewhere. We'll have to change that out to andesite. It's the block that I don't have. And then my timing's off too. a little bit better.
I think this might be one of the first times it's rained today on the server. Jay Christ, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Not a thunderstorm. Well, close enough to nighttime. Chimp number eight, welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. So far, so good. Been raining a lot here today, says J. Chris. Like in real life, it's been raining. We, um, it's a little overcast now, but it was a nice day earlier. I really think this is starting to look cool. The paths are making it feel like it's an it's a treaded neighborhood, you know? It feels like it's got some history and some movement. It makes it feel lived in. Not crazy about this. I kind of feel like it might be better to have like a cutoff or something here. I'm not sure about that area either. These feel very straight. Uh, well, this one's okay. This one, these these two on the left-hand side here, they feel very poker straight. I like this one. This one makes sense, right? They feel very natural. Then this just feels like a straight line, right? So maybe I need to push it like a little bit that way. Or maybe I just need to remove it. Maybe something needs to go there that makes the path not possible. It just feels like it creates this weird trapezoid of land here that just is not used for anything. So maybe the solution is not going to be to have a path there, but to have maybe this entire section be dirt. You know, very much like this here, be, be it a spot for wagons to pull over, stuff like that. I mean, we've got a horse hitch here. We could do something similar over here and have an actual wagon sitting here. That could be interesting. Maybe we put like someone's farmer's cart there with some stuff. We've got the cart over here that we built for the pumpkins. We could put something like that there. Maybe fill it with hay or something. That could be a good idea. I should write that down. How's that for threading the needle? Yeah, curtain wall field, extra path to the east, north marsh grass, small custom tree. So we've done that actually. Small custom tree. Um, can do. Grass. Don't know where that did I have a crossroads? I thought I had a crossroads. Yeah. Wagon stops. I have one wagon stop. What about um what would we call this? With Wagon, cart, and that's on the south corner. What else did I say? Uh, 
feel like the road texture needs to be its own page. The other one was um, edit path near pumpkin. Welcome back from the lurk, Mixgrugan. Good to see you. Grandpa Crafter, hello, hello. So really this has just been part two of what I started yesterday. Always seem to run out of stuff right after I fly over here. Imagine how long this would take if I was uh, not flying. Well, I mean, I say that and we would have moved all the shulker boxes over there at this point. It's actually faster to fly it than it is to move them and everything right now, but because I've got other things I want to do in that area. Plus, it's nice to have the shulker boxes out of the screenshots. Even. Cool. Now, I feel like in here we can get away with a little bit more. some lighter blocks here. So what I do in this kind of sort of situation, I'm trying to create a little bit of contrast so that your eye actually gets pulled over this way. You can see, oh, there's a path there if I, if I wanted to take it. Try to think about traveling in both directions and nudging the player in the right direction. This might be a little bit too close here.
Oh, I hate it when businesses close earlier than you anticipate them, especially if you're going for walks. I, uh, I also find because I, I do walk a lot of places as well. Um, I just go on autopilot and then I like, I forget that I was supposed to stop because the grocery store, like I, I almost walk into the grocery store absent mindedly. Like I just, I'm a food driven human. I just, I think about doing that before I'm even like, I'm in the store before I think I need groceries. I'm just, I walk through by default, but then if it's, if there's other stops, like if I needed to go to the drugstore or the beer store, like I just, I have to think about that. So. I need to eat and I need to sleep. Both in real life and in Minecraft. I uh, I try to stay on top of things, but uh, and I like I went to bed at a good time last night, but today I'm just I'm dragging my feet. I'm gonna need to force myself to the gym this afternoon. I will feel better once I go. I very often get more energy after going, but uh, man, some days I'm not sure whether it's just getting a little bit older or whether it's just having a lot on your mind or whatever, but. Good news is that I've booked two guest hosts to fill in for Johnny on the Spawn Chunks over the next couple of weeks. So we'll have someone coming up on this coming Monday and then um, someone else coming on the 15th. So that'll be fun. Uh, I haven't decided. I need to confirm times with them before I can really announce it. That's not a big secret. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Uh, they have both been on the show before. So because it's a hosting fill-in uh, rather than an interview, I wanted to make sure that it was somebody that we'd had on the show before. It it's, makes it easier to um, get the flow going because people are then familiar with what's going on. And um, yeah, so I feel I feel like... I feel like it's pretty good. Let's put that on this side. It's not feeling as random as I wanted to feel. It feels very planned here. I'm trying to figure that out. I am not saying either way, Elkhorn. I'm keeping it secret, keeping it safe. No, again, like I'm not, there's no giant secret. We'll, we'll announce it. I'll probably let everybody know on Monday who's there for Monday and who's coming on the 15th as well. Oh yeah, just covering all the bases. Well, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm going to need to figure out more about what's happening in here. Uh, very typical for me is to not want to decorate too much of a space along uh, a design until I know what's happening in the other area. And I just realized that there's this giant area here too. And I don't know what to put here. So I do think we want to put a tree over here though. don't have a sapling, but I'm going to just... Where was that? Before I forget, because we threw those those azalea trees were, or acacia trees were there, so it's about there. Maybe we'll lean a little bit to this side. Put this in temporarily and let it stew for a bit.
Just out of curiosity, how did I do? I think it needs to be bigger. Not as tall as that, but certainly maybe about there. It's also a weird shape. And I'll probably go with an oak tree. It might be worth just to kind of grow something and then try to customize it. That's what we did with these two. They were like my Minecraft trees that I kind of trimmed back down. But I think the trunk is in the rough, roughly the right position. Might want to move it just a little bit to the left. Yeah, maybe left and a little bit east. It's going to look weird, maybe. I'll have to come up with some more bushes and things. Make it look more natural. Turing, hey, we were just talking about you. We were just talking about you. Mentioning that you were streaming from Infinity Cove. That's awesome. I didn't realize you were doing that. Well, I mean, I know now. I know now. So what we did earlier today, for folks that are just kind of piling in here, we decorated this green stretch between the bridge and the custom tree that we did yesterday. And then we also finished the upper level here to this end here. I uh, still don't know what's happening in this area here between that path and the main gate. Uh, we were thinking, and we wrote this down in the book, that maybe this, rather than this weird straight line of a path, uh, we make this whole corner kind of like dirt and beat up, and then maybe we put like a cart or something here. I think that could be could be interesting. Although that might put a lot of heavy weight on that side. I don't know. We'll see. It does feel very flat here, so that could be good. And then we started a path yesterday for all the people on foot that would be coming out of the front gate, but then maybe heading east. And so now when you come out of the front gate, we've actually finished this up. So there's a nice little path that cuts across this big empty green space. Obviously, it's not done up here. Uh, we will have to figure out what's happening in this area first and also in this area before I finish this up. Uh, I'd imagine there's just going to be a lot of leaves and grass and things, but I just I don't have any thoughts right now as to what we're going to do. Uh, what we're going to do today right now, though, is send you along to Tadpole Milk, who is streaming some Minecraft on Twitch. I have to be a good human and get my butt to the gym. If you've enjoyed this, consider leaving a follow here on Twitch. I would very much appreciate it. It's free, and it helps me out. Uh, the more people that uh, Twitch knows are following and watching, the better I do. If you would like to check out the Spawn Chunks podcast or my other podcast, The Citadel Cafe, they're both available on all of your favorite podcasting platforms. And you can also get them on YouTube. And the Spawn Chunks has a video component. So if you want to watch Johnny and I talk about Minecraft news and what we've been doing, then you can do that on youtube.com slash the Spawn Chunks. Thanks for the support today. Thanks for the bits, Mind Trip Media. Thank you for the people lurking in the background. I appreciate that it is a middle of the week stream and you have to sometimes have that on a second monitor. But uh, you can also um, share the word. It's free. Um, spreading the streams around, getting more eyeballs and friends into the community is always welcome. And if you really want to support, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It is less than one cup of coffee per month. It's only two bucks and you get access to the discord and then you can help me stream more often. So it's a, it's a win-win and I will see you all tomorrow. That's Friday, one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. We'll be back in Lego for Friday and then uh, back in Minecraft again on Saturday. Uh, well, Saturday, there may or may not be a stream because I have a family barbecue, but I will let folks know in the Discord and on Twitter whether or not that will conflict with the time. But either way, I will see you folks tomorrow. Bye for now.